I was at peace. The gym was my serenity. Hearing those basketballs was my serenity. And that's why I tell people basketball saved my life. Back heads, 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 be a presence, be big. Back, that's where it starts. That's where it starts. Let's go, work hard. It's the 2021 Samora Basketball Invitational one of the most anticipated high school tournaments in BC. Can I get a timeout, please? You guys got five buckets, this game's even. Let's go, let's go! And Sheldon Guy is coaching the only way he knows how, with passion and heart. Body first, work hard, work hard! The 47-year-old is the head coach of the Langley Secondary School Thunderbirds, an inexperienced group searching for an identity. Honestly, if he wasn't our coach, I don't know if I'd be playing basketball right now. I like Coach Sheldon because he's very, like, proud of what he does. He really cares about, like, me and my, my team. I'm very inspired by him. I think I have built a really good relationship with Coach Sheldon. He adores those girls. The days that he gets to go and coach are his best days, I think. Yeah, they mean, they mean a lot to him. On the surface, everything appears normal, but Sheldon is now coaching this tournament from a medical deficit, one that didn't exist only a month prior. Oh, sorry, sorry. Thank you. Perfect. Now you're facing the court. Okay. Three weeks. Three weeks was the time frame that it took for my eyesight to go from something is happening to no vision at all. Basketball was Sheldon Guy's first love, a reprieve from his troubled upbringing. The game brought light to dark times. And now, Sheldon lives to spread that light. Hey, how are you? Good, man, how are you? Oh, you know? Good to see you, man. Nice to see you again. It's awesome seeing you, buddy. I appreciate it. Sheldon just has this personality that, that just shines, and you can't help but be drawn to him. You know, he's a guy that likes to share his, his passion for basketball in particular, and just always has a smile on his face. From a coaching standpoint, I, I feel like I've always had that bone in my body. Like, you know, I want to be out there. I want to share what I've learned. I want to build a program. In early 2020, Langley Secondary's girls basketball program was flailing. Often overlooked in a school dominated by boys football, they needed the right steward. I said, hey man, it's yours. Turn it around, right? Right the ship, let's make this happen. I want to be an advocate. I want to be an advocate for women's sports. I want to be an advocate for putting them on a pedestal and allowing them to be at the top of the threshold, just like guys are. So I'm really proud of you guys right now. So just keep working, OK? They have nothing on us. Let's go. He sees potential in her and those girls that no one can really see. Some of them may not even know how to play basketball. Are you OK? Yeah. Hey, what's wrong? As individuals, it was very difficult for them to buy into what I was selling. Um, they didn't believe me. They were just like, this is another guy coming in, he's gonna be here for a year, and then he's gone. And that's what they're used to. I feel like the boys have always been, like, cared more about in at LSS, so we never really had, like, the best coaches, but then when he came in, it really changed everything. There's nobody out here that's gonna stop you. Nobody, okay? The relationship that I have with them now goes beyond basketball. I feel like they're all my little daughters and I care about them all so much. By 2021, under Sheldon's leadership, the girls began to improve and find joy in the game until Sheldon noticed a change in his sight. I was driving through the tunnel and everything in my vision was like in here. My peripheral was changing. And so that led me to call my doctor, my optometrist, right away. 
we need to get you into the hospital like ASAP. He's like, we need to run some tests. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening and it's, it's happening rather quickly. He called me one time, he's like, oh, I was driving home. Uh, my vision just started going down to like a little square and it just kept closing. And I remember looking at him and saying, I don't know if I'll ever be able to see you again. It was just one tear came down my eye. And I just looked at him. He looked at me and it's like, I don't know, we just kind of, sorry, we just kind of connected. And I just had one tear that came down my eye. That was the last thing I saw. The neurologist labeled what I had as uh, anterior ischemic optic neuropathy, pretty much a stroke in my eye. He's like, there was nothing we could have done. You were destined for this, and I'm sorry, and there's nothing we can do. I drove here a week ago, and now I'm leaving here with no sight. What are you telling me? I just didn't know what to do. But I knew I didn't want to live like this. I can't pivot from this. I can't come back from this. I had these Ativans. And I was just about to, to take them. And I just said, my goodbyes in my mind. And just before I was about to put them in my mouth, Jaden texts me. And I press the button to hear it. Like, this was going to be my last message. And he just said, I love you, Dad. God's got this for you. I literally put my phone down, and I turned my hand, and I took the Ativan, and I threw it on the floor. I can't just give up. That's not who I am. I can't do this. I've got to pivot. I gotta figure this out. That same day, one more message of encouragement popped up on Sheldon's phone. Ready? <laughs> hey, Coach Sheldon, we're thinking of you. We hope you feel better soon. Together on two, family on four, one, two. Yeah! Four, family! It was just so uplifting to know that no matter what I was going through, they were still wanting me to be part of their lives. I think it was a week or so after he got out of the hospital and he said to me, I want to go back and coach the girls. And I said, are you sure? And he said, 100%. And I said, OK, let's do it. I'm not giving up on them. I'm not going to quit, because everybody else has done that to them. And I'm not going to do that. That's your left. Only a few days after losing his sight, Coach Guy was back on the sidelines for Langley Secondary. You turn right. One, two, three. Your chair's a little bit to your right. How far to the baseline? Keep going. Yeah. The baseline is like right in front of you. That's it. This is a baseline? Yeah. I knew that I knew my stuff. It was now trying to figure out how to implement that in a different way versus sight and teaching. It had to be sound and teaching. Who's got shooter? Man first. Right away, right away! I know that after another team scores, if we're really slow on inbounds, because I can hear the ball hitting people's hands. What are we waiting for? Let's go! Come on! It's kind of like everything else is cleared out when I really want to focus in on what I want to hear. It was uncanny that he could 
he was actually calling out the right thing when it was happening, even though he couldn't see the game. With help! Help side! Help side! He can hear the way the girls move. So like you can hear with their shoes and stuff if they're flat footed or if they're not running as fast. Right away! Right away! Right away! Don't dribble! And then having the courage to ask for help. Hey, I need some help with this. And you know what? He got the help with assistant coaches, and then he even got the help from some of his players. But the learning curve for Sheldon has been steep. Back at the 2021 Samura Invitational, Langley was overmatched, not winning a single game. The girls struggled on the court, and Sheldon often struggled on the sideline. I think I just have a lot of, just a lot of pressure on myself to be that coach that I, that I, that I know I, that, that I've always been. And right now I'm having a tough time adjusting to the coach that I, that I have to be. I don't want to coach as if I have a disability. I want to coach the way I know how to coach. I only know one way. I'll get better. I, I'll get better. I'm not giving up. So that. I'm not giving up. Yeah. Sheldon finished the winter as Langley's head coach, but his future for the next school season is uncertain. What's the score? Regardless, Sheldon is determined to remain an advocate for girls' sport, using his own story as motivation. I want them to see me at my worst, and I want them to see that I never give up. And I also want them to know never to give up on themselves or others. Put it up! Yes! That's what I'm talking about! That's what I'm talking about! For me, he really inspired me to always push through and persevere my weaknesses and showed me that things happen and you just have to overcome them. Perseverance. We're persevering through a lot right now, okay? You've got a coach that really can't see what's going on, but trying to coach by sound. That I've got 13 coaches. And that's what it is. You guys are learning the game from my eyes. Short-term goal is just to be better as individuals every day. To look at the situation and say, yeah, life's not that bad. You can pivot out of anything that you're presented with. It's what do you choose? What's your decision? And how are you going to pivot? <laughs> 